click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to start a new topic that is problems based on composite function. In the earlier videos we have also seen what are composite function but I have given only a small idea. In this part we are going to see what are composite functions and how to identify them. Let us start with the first problem. In the first numerical, we have differentiate x raised to 2a minus 2a raised to 2a plus a raised to 2x plus 2x raised to 2a with respect to x. Let us write down this sum. y is equal to x raised to 2a minus 2a raised to 2a plus a raised to 2x plus 2x raised to 2a. Now, first of all, what is a composite function? There are two types of functions. First is called as a standard function and second is called as a composite function. Any function in which x is replaced by another function is called as composite function. Meaning, if I say there is a function sin x, sin x is a standard function. But if I say I replace x by another term, say like sine of log x means I have replaced x by log x. So this function becomes a composite function. In this sum, if I say the first term x raised to 2a is not a composite function, it is a standard function as it can be compared with x raised to n. Second function is a constant function. Third function a raised to 2x. The standard function for that is a raised to x. Yes, you identified it correctly. This function is a composite function because x is replaced by 2x. In the third part, we have 2x raised to 2a. In this function also, x is replaced by 2x. So if I want to compare it with x raised to n, the x part will be replaced by 2x part. And so in this part, we have first function as a standard function second is a constant function, third is a composite function and fourth can be considered as a composite function. So let us start differentiating this function. Differentiating the above function with respect to x. Derivative of y will give you dy by dx. Here we have to find derivative of x raised to 2a. Now to find derivative of x raised to 2a, I will compare it with x raised to n. The value of n is 2a. x is same. So the formula goes n x raised to n minus 1. So here it will be 2a then x raised to n minus 1 that is 2a minus 1 minus constant. We have seen in the previous video also derivative of constant is 0. How to identify whether it is a constant or a variable? You can see that there is no x in this term, right? So if there is no x, we are differentiating with respect to x. If there is no x, the pure, it will be a constant. Derivative of constant will take it as 0. The next function is a raised to 2x. To take derivative of a raised to 2x, we will compare it with a raised to x. Derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x log a, right? So the derivative of a raised to 2x will be a raised to 2x log a. Then what is the difference between composite and standard function? We have used the same formula. The difference is that the part which is replacing x will take the derivative of that. So we will multiply it by d by dx of 2x. The next part is 2x raised to 2a. To differentiate with, I will compare it with x raised to n. So derivative of x raised to n becomes n that is 2a then x then 2x that is n minus 1. So the power will be 2a minus 1 into d by dx of what is replacing x that is 2x. So here it will be 2x. Let us continue further. dy by dx will give you 2a into x raised to 2a minus 1, 0 as it is plus, here we have derivative of 2x, 2 is a constant, derivative of x will give you 1. 
So the answer of derivative of 2x is 2. So we have 2 into a raised to 2x into log a. That is 2 a raised to 2x into log a. Continued by plus 2a into 2x into derivative of 2x. So derivative of 2x we have seen it earlier also it is 2. So 2 into 2a will give you 4a into this is 2x the power remains same that is 2a minus 1. So this becomes the derivative of the given function. Let us start the second problem. Now in the second problem we have y is equal to x square plus 1 the whole raised to 10 find dy by dx. Now this is the best example to understand what is a composite function. If you consider this entire bracket as x, this will look like x raised to 10 and x raised to 10 can be solved using the formula x raised to n. So considering this bracket as x, the formula goes with x raised to n. So this is a composite function. y is equal to x square plus 1 the whole raised to 10. Differentiating with respect to x, we will get dy by dx on the left hand side and considering this entire part as x, derivative of x raised to n becomes n x raised to n minus 1. So here the value of n is 10, so this becomes 10 into x. What is x? It is x square plus 1 raised to n minus 1. What is n minus 1? 10 minus 1 will give you 9. But here the further process is to differentiate the function that is replacing x. So which part is replacing x? x square plus 1. So I will multiply it by d by dx of x square plus 1. Next step dy by dx is equal to 10 into x square plus 1 the whole raised to 9. Now the derivative of x square you will get it as 2x and derivative of 1 will be 0. Next step dy by dx is equal to 10 into x square plus 1 the whole raised to 9 2x plus 0 will give you 2x. The final step we have dy by dx is equal to 10 into 2x will give you 20x and the remaining part x square plus 1 the whole raised to 9 remains same. So this is the derivative of the function. Let us check the third problem of this video. Let us start with the third problem. If f of x is equal to x square and g of x is equal to 3x plus 5 Find the derivative of f o g of x. If f of x is equal to x square, g of x is equal to 3x plus 5. Find derivative of f o g of x. Now, f o g of x is not similar to this chapter. It is from the previous chapter. That is limits and functions. Right? So, how to find f o g of x? We will start with it. f of x is given as x square. And g of x is given as 3x plus 5. To find g o f of x or f o g of x, here it is asked to find f o g of x, right? So f o g of x meaning f of stands for bracket. So bracket means multiplication. Then we have g of x. So g of x. Next step, we can substitute g of x in this bracket. So what is g of x? We have 3x plus 5. How to find f of 3x plus 5? We will substitute the value of x as 3x plus 5 in the given function f of x. We have f of x as x square. So at the position of x we will substitute 3x plus 5. So x becomes 3x plus 5. Since it is x square it becomes the whole square. Further you can simplify this function f o g of x can be further simplified using a plus b the whole square that becomes a square plus 2 a b that is 2 into 3 x into 5 plus b square 
that is phi square fog of x 3x the whole square becomes 9x square plus 2 into 3 will give you 6 and 6 into 5 will give you 30 so this becomes 30x plus 25 now our function is ready to differentiate to further differentiate we can consider fog of x as y i will say let fog of x is equal to y so the sum becomes y is equal to 9x square plus 30x plus 25 differentiating the function with respect to x so dy by dx becomes 9 as it is since it is a constant derivative of x square becomes 2x nx raised to n minus 1 plus 30 derivative of x becomes 1 and derivative of 25 being a constant becomes 0 so dy by dx will be 9 into 2x will be 18x plus 30 into 1 will give you 30 this is the final derivative of the function i hope friends you understood all these three numericals thanks for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe ikida